Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create 3D assets in Unity, create them as NFTs, and how to render them back in Unity. We're first gonna create a 3D object in Unity. We're gonna create an asset bundle out of it, and then we are going to go ahead and store that asset bundle in IPFS, which we will then create an NFT with. After that, we will take our NFT and we will render it back into Unity. That way, whenever the game loads, it will check our smart contract to see the NFT and it will go ahead and render it back into Unity. So let's go ahead and get started and let's jump right into Unity. So I'm gonna open up Unity Hub here. And what we're gonna do is create a new project. I'm gonna create a 3D project and I will go ahead and name this. And then we'll just go ahead and name this Third Web Unity. Go ahead and create the project. All right, and once it's created, it will open up a Unity for us. Now the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and set up Third Web's SDK with Unity. You can go ahead and head on over to the Unity SDK and download the latest Unity SDK package. We'll go ahead and add a link to this down in the description. I already have it downloaded, uh, but you can go to right below here under assets and download this third web Unity SDK package right here. So back in Unity, what we're gonna go ahead and do is under assets, we're gonna import package, custom package, and we're gonna select that third web Unity SDK. We're gonna go ahead and open, and we're gonna go ahead and hit uh, import. And let's go ahead and before we get started, we will go into our file under build settings and we will set this all up. So for platform, we're gonna select WebGL here. We're gonna switch our platform. Uh, we're gonna to go to player settings under resolution and presentation. We'll go ahead and select third web. And under other settings, we'll go ahead and uncheck Auto Graphics API. Now, under our scenes to build, we're gonna be building off this sample scene right here. So we'll go ahead and add our open scene, uh, which is our sample scene. And I'm gonna go ahead and close this for now. What we're gonna do is create a 3D object. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a 3D object. We're gonna create just a cube for this example. So if I scroll in here, you can see this is our 3D object, which is this cube. And that is gonna be our NFT that gets rendered on to our scene here. Now we're also gonna create an empty and this empty is what will go ahead uh, and render the object uh, once it reads our NFT from our smart contract. So the first thing we need to do is create an asset bundle for our cube here. And basically what asset bundles are is they will load on runtime. That way what it's gonna do, it's gonna check our smart contract and then bring in the NFT that we specify. So what we need to do first is create an asset bundle. And what we're gonna have to do here is in our assets folder, we need, we're gonna write a script here that is gonna create an asset bundle for us. So we're gonna go ahead and create a C-sharp script here, and we're just gonna name it create asset bundle.cs. Then we'll go ahead and we'll open up our create asset bundle file we just created. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of this code here. And we're gonna go ahead and add our code to add our, our build asset bundle menu option. So what we're doing here is we're creating a menu item that is going to build the bundles for us. And it's going to then create a folder for us called asset bundles that is gonna go ahead and generate the asset bundles that we need. And what we're gonna do then is take that file and upload it to our IPFS and create an NFT from it. So what you'll see here is now under our assets, we now have the menu option to build an asset bundle. Now, before we do that, we do need to create a prefab out of this cube here. And to do that, you can just come up to our hierarchy here, grab the cube and drag it into our project assets folder right here. Now you can go ahead and name it what you want. We're gonna leave it cube. And what we'll do is go ahead and select our prefab here. And on the right side under our inspector, at the very bottom, we have our asset bundle. So we're gonna assign an asset bundle to it. Uh, we're gonna create a new one and we're gonna call it test bundle. So once we have that created and selected, we'll come back up to our assets here and we'll go ahead and click build asset bundles. 
So again, what that'll do is under our assets here, it will build an assets bundle folder and it'll go ahead and create the files that we need to upload to our IPFS to create our NFT. All right, and once it's done again in our assets under the assets bundle folder, you should see these files here that it went ahead and created for us. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is upload our test bundle file to our IPFS, and we'll go ahead and create an NFT using that. So let me go ahead, let's open up our terminal here. And again, we're gonna first switch over uh, and change directory to our asset bundles folder here. So I'm just gonna switch over to our, what did I call it, right? So once we are in our asset bundles folder, uh, we can double check uh, by doing ls, just check that our test bundle file is there. And once we go ahead and see that we are in the correct directory, we'll go ahead and upload our file to our IPFS. So we're gonna use third web CLI to do this. So we're gonna do mpx third web at latest, and we're gonna do upload. And what we're gonna do is upload our test bundle. And what that will go ahead and do is upload our file to IPFS and it will go ahead and give us our IPFS URI, which we are going to use to create our NFT. So the next thing we need to do now is create our NFT. So first we're gonna go ahead and create our NFT collection smart contract. So if we head on over to third web's dashboard, we're gonna go ahead and deploy a new contract here. We're gonna scroll down to the NFTs and we're gonna select NFT collection. We're gonna go ahead and deploy that and we'll just call this Unity 3D Assets and I'll just call, give it a symbol and then these are 3D Unity Assets. Uh, for this example on the chains, I'm gonna select the Gorilla Testnet and then we're gonna go ahead and hit deploy. Go ahead and confirm that transaction. All right, and our smart contract for our NFT has been deployed. So we don't have any NFTs yet, but now let's go ahead and mint our NFTs to our smart contract. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a template here to help us upload this. So the template we're gonna use is MPX third web. We're gonna create uh, using a template and it's gonna be the 3D asset NFT script. So we'll go ahead and create that template for us. We'll just call this 3D asset script, right? And we'll go ahead and change directory to our 3D asset script. And we'll go ahead and open this in VS code. So with that open, if we come up to our source here and in our index.ts, you can see we have this templated code for us to use. Let me just zoom in a bit. So all we need to do is update the values up here and we'll go ahead and run this and it will go ahead and upload our NFT from our IPFS that we just that we created earlier and it will mint that NFT to our contract. So first thing we need to do is get our smart contract address. So if you come back to our dashboard here, up in the top left of our smart contract, you can just copy that address. We'll go ahead and replace it there. Our network is Gorily, so we're just gonna get rid of the optimism here. Uh, our private key, what we're gonna do first is go ahead and create a new file, uh, .env file, and we are gonna go ahead and store our private key in here. Now, we don't recommend storing your private keys like this there are more secure ways for securing your private key but for this example uh, we're going to just store it in a .env file if you do want to learn more about how to secure your private key it'll be down in the description below and we do have some guides on that so i'm going to go ahead put our private key right in here okay and then the last thing we need to do is our ipfs uh, for the uh, test bundle that we went ahead and uploaded so we come back to our terminal here and we scroll up uh, we can see this is where our IPFS is. We'll go ahead and copy that and we'll replace it with this one here. Now next, you can see down here, what it's gonna do is it's going to go ahead and get our contract, uh, which is an NFT collection, and it is going to go ahead and mint to our collection using uh, the name that we put here. So we'll just call this 
3D cube, and then our description, and then our image, which is going to be our IPFS URL, which is what we had put up here earlier. And if that mints successfully, we should go ahead and see that it successfully minted. So next we need to go ahead and run this. So we'll open up our terminal here and we'll do npx ts node and we'll go ahead and run our index.ts file. So once we do this, we should wait, it'll be a little bit and we should see it has successfully minted our NFT. And there you go. You can see we have successfully minted our NFT. So if we head back to our third web dashboard, it should load our NFT, which is our 3D cube that we just created. And then the last thing to do now is back in Unity, we're gonna go ahead and render this NFT right here into Unity, into our scene when the game loads. So back in Unity here, what we're gonna do first is create a new folder in our assets. So we'll create a new folder, we'll call it scripts. And in that scripts folder, we'll go ahead and create a new C sharp script again, and we'll name it web3.cs. And what we'll do is this cube here, uh, we no longer need because this cube is gonna get rendered when we load our game. So we're gonna get rid of that. This game object, right now it is an empty. This game object here is what we'll go ahead and render our cube. With this web3 file we just created, we'll go ahead and click and drag that over our game object. What that will do is because our game object here is it links that script to that object. So again, this game object is what is going to load the NFT that we select. So we'll go ahead and open up that web3.cs file here, and we'll go ahead and get rid of this code. So in our web3 script here, what we're going to do is we're going to create so that when our Unity scene loads, it is going to one, check our third web SDK. It's going to load our NFT and go ahead and spawn our NFT into our scene. Now, the first thing we need to do for our load NFT function here is we need to go ahead and store our contract. So we can use the get contract function here to go ahead and we'll put our contract address, which is of our NFT collection that we just created. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get our NFT which was token ID zero. So depending on the NFT that you're looking to get, you're gonna go ahead and get and put in that token ID there. And then the asset bundle is going to be the metadata that we went ahead and stored, which was that test bundle. And we're gonna go ahead and return that asset bundle URL. Next, we need to go ahead and spawn that NFT into our scene. So we're gonna make sure that we define the prefab name, which should match the name if we go back to Unity here, should match the name of the prefab that we created here. So whatever it's named uh, should match this name right over here. Next, we're gonna go ahead and request the asset bundle from the IPFS. So again, using that asset bundle that we went ahead and got from our NFT smart contract. And if something failed with our request, we'll go ahead and get our network error or error. And if successful, we'll go ahead and again, using that game object, we're going to load our asset to it and that game object will go ahead and render our cube. So if we come back to our Unity here, now what we're gonna go ahead and do is under file, we're gonna build and run our Unity scene here. Again, our scene does not have our cube in it, but once the game loads and checks our smart contract, it will go ahead and load our cube under this game object here. So we'll go ahead and build and run. And once our game scene has loaded, you can see right here we have our cube. So if I refresh this real quick, see once we reload it, it's not here at first and then it is rendered into our game scene with our game object. So there you have it. That's how you can go ahead and create 3D assets in Unity, upload them to IPFS using Third Web, create NFTs with it, and then using that NFT smart contract, render your NFT back into Unity. So I hope you folks enjoyed this tutorial. If you did enjoy it, give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and until next time, see ya.